Welcome to this short video on how to measure cuff pressures using the manometer. The manometer can be used to measure cuff pressures in LMA and the endotracheal tube. In this video, we will be focusing on how to use it with the endotracheal tube. It is important to measure cuff pressures as overinflating the cuff can cause sore throat, hoarseness, and mucosal injury, whilst underinflating it causes leaks and poor airway protection. It is recommended to measure cuff pressures using the manometer as other conventional techniques have been shown to be unreliable. You can find the manometers in the airway trolleys. Remember to clean it after every use, wiping it with alcohol-based disinfectants. To test it, occlude the lure connection found at the side of the manometer, inflate the cuff to a pressure of 40 cm of water at which it should remain constant for 2-3 to three seconds. We suggest testing this weekly. If it does not stay at 40 cm of water, do not use the manometer and please send it for repair. Note that these manometers are latex-free. Shown here are the two types of manometers available at GRI, and they work similarly. We'll now move on to a quick demonstration on how to use a manometer. Your cuff manometer should be at the airway trolley. Once the patient is intubated, inflate the cuff with a pre-filled syringe as how you would normally do. After the endotracheal tube placement has been confirmed and the patient has been connected to the ventilator, attach the end of the pilot balloon to the lower lock of the manometer as shown. Depending on the pressure shown, you can increase the pressure by inflating the bulb at the bottom or reduce the pressure by pressing on the red release valve at the side. The recommended pressure for endotracheal tube is between 20 to 30 cm of water as highlighted in green on the manometers. In this particular manometer, you can also find the recommended cuff pressures for LMA. We have put up posters in the anesthetic room for your reference. Thank you for watching.